Welcome back to this installment of the Ainscuff Crane Hire uh, build. This is the Tamiya MAN 64. This is going to be the video that shows you how to do the steering modification. Right, before we go any further, I just want to tell you that, um, that for some reason one of the files were corrupt on the camera. Um, I don't know whether it was on the camera or while it was being transferred, as you can see, I've already got the steer and everything on. Just want to um, go back to the camera and just re-record that bit that I've missed. Um, obviously I can't do it all, but these are the rod ends for the three steering link rods basically it's the from the servo to the bell crank from the bell crank to the steering uh, hub and then the link rod that goes from left to right so i'm not going to use these because there's an awful lot of play in them and it really does affect the steering uh, negatively so what i do <clears throat> is i buy a packet of 20 of these m3 offset rod ends from RC4WD um, they are a bit longer than um, the the standard Tamiya ones by quite a long way so I just trim the ends off because I don't want to be trying to screw you know into you know the best part of uh, 10 millimeters unnecessarily um, uh, from, from what I've seen on the video, I, the only thing that you've missed is me chopping those ends off. <clears throat> and the reason why we have these as um, replacements, because basically um, it gives us a little bit of an offset. So, um, yeah. Let's get over and uh, carry on where we where we left off. Uh, and there we go. Um, just chop those off um, halfway between the end and the offset part of the knuckle. We can throw those bits away so we don't confuse them with anybody else. Right. Um, we need to get this done. Now, you will need the build manual for this part because as many as you've built, you're going to need them to work out your distances between these on your rod ends. Um, let's go out a bit. Because here, on this one, these are the lengths of your steering rods. And this is the actual length. So you put your ball joints on and you use this, put it over, hold that one over the hole and then look to see if you've got them the right level. So you're going to need a pair of um, grips for these, for this um, part. I'll put my hacksaw away, shove all them up there and bring this in a little bit closer because what we're going to do here is this is the long one is we're going to see if that is the same length and I'm looking at the ball ends not the, 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 the sleeve so that is over that hole and I can see that that one it needs to go in about another millimetre, so I'll just do one turn. Hold that one over the hole. Another turn. Hold that left side directly over the hole. And that one seems to be absolutely spot on. And make sure that the offsets are both pointing the same way but yeah that's pretty good you don't need to trim off too much but you know they're very very um stiff to get in i'm going to make up these two 
and get that done. Okay, we've done the steering rods all to that size. They're exactly the same. This main link rod that goes from left to right is um, the same way, both angled upwards. This one, I think from memory, has opposites and so does this one. So let's get this um, very quickly. Let's get it bolted on to the, the chassis and see uh, where we go. So there's uh, 12 mil, the longer ones, these ones go through the thicker part of the bell crank, which goes in here and we'll put some um, thread lock on these. You don't need an awful lot. Just a little bit, just to go in the threads. Don't fully tighten them up until they've got them all in. You can't see anything because my hands are in the way. I always hold my screwdriver with that bit as well because it's quicker um, for me uh, to just spin them in. Like I say, you don't need any great uh, weight behind them. Because it is only a model truck. Just put a little bit of weight on them. You don't need to push in and do that. So that goes like that. And then the servo uses three. Just stay quiet. Uses three of... Um, the 8mm BA3s, it's all in the instructions. There's a lot going on on this, uh, on this truck, but uh, you know, it's all about enjoying, take your time, you know, pace yourself. Um, as you can see, I, I, I've got a nice big uh, workbench and I'm going to be adding um, another two meters either side um, at some point over the next few weeks because I have a laser cutter, I have um, a vinyl cutter, I've got all sorts of stuff that I don't want to be keep putting away. I'm going to get two meters of um, cupboard space as well. I'm just going to extend everything out. So that's on, simple as that. And um, next is the axle. So I'm going to get all the parts out for the axle. Don't need those uh, bushings. Um, do need those two nuts, but where did they come from? They came from. from bag A so right let me get all the axle parts out and um, we'll start on modifying the axle to improve the steering uh, the first thing first is on the hub upright we have these pins that that, that go through and to, to show you what it's like close up. Um, let me just put one of those in there so we've got a better idea of um, how it goes. Come on, get in there. Now, uh, these are fitted with those little silly um, e clips and small ones. So, as you can see, that is how that fits and that is your steering and if you can see um, just in there let me get 
a screwdriver so I can point at it just here there where that little circle is it's part of the casting mark so don't worry about that um, that hits on there and the same on this side this part here hits on that just there Come and focus in so basically what we need to do just to get that little bit more um, steering lock is just to take out come on focus take out this bit and this bit let me get down here a little bit So that's how that comes. It's a little bit uh, scraggly, but there is a cure for that as well. So I just just need to do um, this side and this end, and uh, that will be it. And you can see, what's that? Cool stuff. Just right. to dry assemble the front hub. As it will be when it's on your truck so that goes through there so now you can see that bit there doesn't hinder that it goes back a little bit further and then on this side it goes back a bit further so you have much more um, steering on that and to cover up that modification All I'm going to do is just dab some black on it, cover up those uh, scratches where I slipped with the file. This does not weaken the axle at all. Well, for you engineers out there, if you remove any material, it will weaken it, but this is really not going to be. Um, too big a deal because you've only moved, removed such a small amount I just scratched it there and there so uh, yeah you're not going to weaken the axle by doing this simple modification the, the Carson steering rod which people say improves your steering it doesn't improve your steering the, all that does is simply um, allows you to turn the axle around um, so instead of the steering rod being um, at the front of the truck it allows you to spin the whole axle around so the, the crank steering rod allows you to go under the gearbox it's still a straight joint on the end so this is the cheap and easy way I think they're about £30 those um, <coughs> Carson cranked uh, steering rods so uh, yeah that's as simple as that that's all you need to do um, the ones with the holes that is the front of the axle so we can go ahead now and assemble the axle so follow the instructions it's all in there so I just need to build up this axle and all it is it sits um, get it right way around T like that the um, U-bolts fit under there like so and it is um, a little bit 
them without moving them, just gonna put that on there look down from above on my cutting mat that one's moving in a little bit and that looks pretty good I'm just looking at the lines to make sure that the springs are lined up and uh, that bit's done. So, uh, I'm just gonna um, remove part of these uh, spring hangers, not spring hangers, shock absorber hangers that fit uh, just under there because we don't want the steering arm um, hitting this. We need it to come a little bit further. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the right hand side of this one and the left hand side of this one. This does alter the structure of it, but the bottom of the shock absorber screws into there. The shock absorbers don't do anything. Um, they're not a, a shock absorber as such. Um, it's just a detail um, that Tamiya put on. So I've done this on numerous trucks, never had an issue with it. So I'm going to get rid of um, one side of this and one side of the other. <laughs> nothing too much and then get my pliers put it in there and then as you try to straighten it it will just break off so you're just left with that piece and this piece just deburr that so that's that one and that is that one I've got a left and right so make sure you do the opposites and they can go in the bin in the garbage in the trash excellent and then we can just put them on there get some uh, zoom out so we can see the bigger picture um, they will be the six millimeter. Where's my screwdriver? A little dab of um, thread lock. I hate magnetic screwdrivers. I hate them. I know Tamiya do come magnetised. Makes things easier, I suppose, but I don't like them. So, that's in there. Oh, some people like magnetic screwdrivers. Oh, there they are. I've got two out already. Just a little dab of thread lock. It's still raining. There's some owls in the tree next door because I live out in the sticks. And then um, squawking and doing whatever they were doing the other night so there we have the, the lower spring uh, shock lower shock absorber uh, uh, bracket on the inside edge only so that's good for that right let's get these um, hubs in
I believe a 12. So I'm going to use a couple of these. You will need some replacement, so uh, get yourself uh, some M3 12 millimeter because basically this is going to bolt straight through there. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of um, thread lock on there. So that nut fits in there like so. And then the bolt drops through the rose joint. Screwdriver. That's that one. Fit that nut into there. Get another one of those. I know I shouldn't be robbing these because I'm going to have to get them out of a spares bag later. A bit of thread lock. goes in there so that's replaced the Tamiya um, ball joints basically that's uh, Tamiya ball joint there is quite a lot of free play in that and um, that oh, hardly anything hardly anything and that is basically a modification up to now that's cost us um, 11 12 pound for the um offset um rod ends and that allows that now let me zoom right in and get you in there so this part here doesn't hit and that gives us a much better turn angle and the same on this side just Look at that, just misses. And that is, um, there's no play, there's no play. And you haven't spent £30 on a Carson steering rod or uh, £60 on a Lisu um, axle, which I think is a win-win situation. You've saved money and we don't need those balls. Don't need those balls. So now we need to have a look at this. So the short rod goes between, let me uh, zoom you down. There's the bell crank just there. And there's the, the hub axle there. You can see how um, this is further back than this. So this is why I've done that. So I can um, have that. So it's at a right angle rather than at an angle. So all the steering joints are parallel to the axle and again it's a free mod it's basically there I just need a black um, nut to go in there like so I'm just going to put a bit of uh, thread lock on that because we're going through a, a rose joint or whatever they're called I don't know and then that fits up through there put my tweezers down it 
can put a bit of weight on these because that rose joint is quite forgiving. And then that one goes in there. I need another one. So now I've found one. I'll just put a little bit of uh, thread lock on there. And there should be a captive nut in there. So I'll just stick that captive nut in there. Look, it's just fallen out. So I'll stick that in there. Keep my finger on that. And then drop that through that offset rod end. Brilliant. Love brilliant this. And that is that. Let me get rid of all this junk. So right now we have parallel joints. Parallel steering arm to that. We have a parallel steering arm on that bell crank and uh, on there we have from the other side almost no play. Nothing at all. The play that you get is here. But like I said, don't get too upset if your um, feeling a little bit of um, free play in this because really it's not that important. You're not going to feel um, it too much when you're driving it around on a layout or even in your carpet at home. So now I've just had a look for uh, screws for um, the servo because I couldn't find any that were long enough and you didn't want to hear me scratching about. Um, so the link rod for the servo to this is I'm going to put the nut on the inner one I, I believe you get just to get a little bit better torque um, and less travel on that servo so let me just uh, stick that up through there these are all adjustable um, when you you get to the point where you're setting up your transmitter just uh, gone completely out of shot and then the steering arm here is just a metal um, servo steering arm which is um, not been centered um, just yet I'm going to put that um, in the center hole with a bit of thread lock please I might take that out and move it um, so I'm going to put a little bit of thread lock on there And then screw that into the um, middle hole and that way again we, we keep everything as um, parallel as possible when I plug the radio and the receiver and everything in um, if, that, if that's central I can just lift that off and then just place it back on um, as and when so I'm going to throw a bolt down there now just so I know there is one in there and that's uh, plastic gears so it doesn't need um, 
put a bolt in it. Plastic gears are fine. Um, da -da -da. Let's have a six millimeter um, screw straight down. Into there. And that is that. So right, that's um, your steering modification all but done. And just to give you an overview, this is still at the front. We've removed um, half of the lower shock bracket and we've filed out the inner part of the C-hubs. Um, we've fitted the cranked or offset M3 RC4WD um, rod ends on all three link rods that is parallel that is parallel thanks to the um, those offset rod ends which you can see just here it's almost parallel and then of course this runs almost parallel to the frame it could run parallel if you move this inwards and that outwards but we're going to set the steering up later so anyway the next video is going to be the axles and rear suspension um so yeah um do a little bit of a ding ding on the like and subscribe and uh, it'll come up on your feed liking the video does help my channel and it helps you you get related content